All right, guys. So I had a subscriber ask me recently, did I save the best pair for last? And that's a that's an easy answer. No, I did not. Uh, the last pair is simply a consequence to me allowing Gingerbread Man to have two boxes. And if you notice, there's 12 boxes in here and 12 pair in here. So I had no choice but to use the top uh, breeding box. I don't like to use it because I can't reach it easily. I have to get a milk carton. Or something to stand on so I don't like using that box but in this case since gingerbread man can't fly very well he has to hop from box to box um, you know this is the consequence to that so no big deal we're gonna go ahead and move up there and show you guys the very last pair now pre warning you guys I haven't cleaned up there since I moved uh, since I built the boxes I'm not sure what we're gonna find up there um, so I'm just pre warning you guys beforehand uh, I didn't clean I didn't do anything up there so I'm gonna grab my milk crate here let me calm these birds down. Um, it's been a minute since I made a video because, give me just a second guys, I'm working as diligently as possible not to scare them. Um, we have a lot of hatching youngsters and I didn't want to chase the parents off the babies or eggs for too long while I'm filming and cause issues. So, without further ado, pair number 12. I'll get your butt in there, there we go. Alright guys, I cannot take the nest front off, so I'm going to do my best to highlight this pair here. Alright, you know what? How about that? Alright, that's much better. Let me see if I can get him in, in focus. Come on. There we go. There we go, big boy. Come on. Come on. Just a little bit closer. There we go. Come on. Oh, I hate this freaking box. So. That bird there is, in fact, my classic winner from 2020. Uh, the bird that, that put me on the map, the bird that earned me the respect as a racer, uh, the bird that earned me the most amount of prize money I've earned so far, I've been able to win so far, he is that bird. He is off of box eight. He is off of Warren 155. He's my boy. Now, with that being said, I bred a few youngsters off of him last year. I can't argue with you they were super pigeons I didn't get any winners I didn't any get didn't get anything that was uh, you know performance wise on top because I had a very I wouldn't say a poor season I had a pretty good season I started you know right out the hole uh, with the win and then I ended with the third place win so I really can't argue but it was a tough season to say the least a lot of the races were short uh, our 300 mile got canceled I chose not to race the 150 that they were sending to um, a lot of the southwest wind was dragging the birds into detroit and i am far about 15 or 16 miles probably even further than that uh, outside of that southwest of that so actually no it would be um, northwest of detroit so my birds were getting drug into detroit week after week and the performances as you can tell were were very few and far between um, a good Gage, I would say, is using Tony's race results. He is in my area, and you can see both of us were at the bottom on the shorter races with the Southwest win. But nonetheless, guys, we had a super year. Uh, I ended up with two youngsters off of him, two nest mate cockbirds. They ended up being red because I mated them over a red hen last year. Uh, and again, I, it's, it's birds I would move forward with despite the fact that the... Oh, look, they have a youngster. Oh, I didn't even know. So despite the, 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 the lack of performance, I still would move forward with them. And I wanted to move forward with the sun. Uh, and I ended up breaking and sending that sun off to Andre Tomas. Uh, I wanted to put him on something super. And I wanted to put him off something that I consider my best. Uh, and this bird has proven to be that. Now the hen that he's mated with here, I don't know much about. I know that she comes from the same source that his parents come from. And I am to believe that she may, in fact, be his aunt on the father's side. I don't know. Again, guys, we don't play with pedigrees here. We play with good pigeons. So unless I reach out and ask the owner what the bird came off of, because I'm sure he has records, um, it doesn't really make a difference to me. He was off of his top, his best pigeons. Uh, it was a gift to the guy who I got her from. So I put them together. Even though they may be a line bred or even a cross bred, uh, I'm going to try them because... I, so this is sort of a, another love mating situation. I had him on a different hen that I really wanted him to be with this year. Uh, a phenomenal Lynch bird. I'm not sure if you guys ever heard of Bob Lynch, but a super racer. 
Um, and I wanted to put him on that that hen bird, but uh, it just so happened that that hen bird became a cock bird. So I had to dip into what I had left in terms of hens, and she was one of those hens. Uh, and even though I may be risking a, you know, inbred and nephew mating, which I, again, I don't really care, uh, I'm gonna take that risk because I think she is of good quality. She, you know, she handles nicely uh, compared to, you know, what I look for. And again, that's a soft feather. Uh, we're gonna see guys again. It's, it's you know, it's one of those things where we take a chance they took right away I'd like the way the pair looks together. She's a little bit more uh, On the medium to large side. He's sort of right where I want him to be as a cock bird a good medium-sized bird So we'll see how the youngsters come out if they come out too large I may switch them out next year But if they end up being at you know the size that I like and they perform at the performance that I like We'll keep them and we'll move forward with that pair number 12 guys and the last pair on this list, I do have other birds in the background that are mating, but I'm not focusing on those birds whatsoever. If I do get a youngster or two, I will be racing them. I race everything I have. I don't keep anything for stock uh, unless it's old. Uh, for instance, like Barkley's youngster, I am going to stock one regardless. Um, just in case the youngsters don't make it through the season, we have a smash race or something of that nature, and the birds don't come back, I want to have one youngster to move forward with in case he, in fact, does no longer breathe, no longer feels eggs. So apart from that, everything's going to be tested, everything's going to be raced, and I am going to move forward and, you know, film those those uh, race results as well and show you guys how they're doing in case, you know, you got a couple guys want to follow along. I'll have that information out at the ready. And as you may notice, there are youngsters in the bowls. And we've had some ups and downs, and we'll cover that on the next video, guys. I just wanted to finish off this series with pair number 12. I call him CW, classic winner. And her, I have not given her a name yet. Let's see if she earns her spot for next year before we start naming her. So, pair number 12, guys.